Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Grease's Dead Congregation Sombre Doom because it fucking rules. And if you're a fan of Dead Congregation and you have not heard this little mini EP, oh, you're slipping. The shit is fucking fire. We're listening to Side Doom, which starts with Redemptive Immolation, which is just one of the best Death Doom songs ever written. It's seriously so fucking good. Makes your hair grow like four inches into the more death metal-y, shorter Windsbane, which still, oh my god, it's so good. Dead Congregation, to me, and this might be biased, is one of those bands that can do no fucking wrong. They're just so fucking good. I love it. Awesome. Greek death metal. Seriously, check it out. Graves of the Archangels especially, but the Sombre Doom EP, fuck yeah, it's good shit. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, here's some other real good shit, but right now, just I'll save you some time. If you do not like raw black metal, just there's no point for you to watch this because this is pretty much as raw, primitive, grim and fucking awesome as it gets when it comes to like that type of black metal so you know if that's not your thing sorry but have a good one but if you do like raw black metal yeah this is fucking the shit and i'm talking about black Solis mysteries this is number 70 out of 300 that looks like a four, but it's really a seven. I guess it's gotta look real close. And it's on red, I, I don't know. I didn't look up anything about color variants and shit, but whatever. Sick. The album's awesome. It sounds so fucking otherworldly. And just, oh, it's so primitive and brawl. And it's everything you could possibly want out of a black metal record if you like raw black metal like as fun as like war metal is and stuff like when you actually you know get down to the bones of it like i'd rather listen to transylvanian hunger than war cult supremacy but that that's just me like just like being honest like i love you know them both but like it's just something about transylvanian hunger that i always go back to no matter what like i might not listen to it for like six months and like all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I forgot I have Transylvania Hunger and I'll throw it on and I'm like, why don't I listen to this more, you fucking idiot? And uh, it hasn't been like that with Black Silly's Mysteries. This has been getting constantly spun. I picked up Banished from Time first to like, just, I, I just wanted to start at the, I don't know why I wanted to start like kind of, you know, at his newest material and work my way down and just see what he, you know, started out sounding like. And it doesn't really sound like too much changed between Mysteries and Banished from Time, except for there's a lot more, like, audible, like, riffing on Banished from Time, and it's awesome. And same thing on here, though, like, the riffs are just buried in this claustrophobic, awesome atmosphere that's created like just from like his guitar tone and just the overall atmosphere of this record like seriously makes you just like feel like the world's caving in on you and it's awesome like if you just let this record like take you someplace like just like turn out the lights at nighttime and just close your eyes and play this because it's very very hypnotic and it like sucks you into it and it's an awesome feeling like i i just i had a lot going on a couple like days ago and i threw this on like the night after i got it and i had already spun it a couple times and was like falling in love with it and i just like turned my light out and i threw it on and I was kind of tired already, but, like, I started getting just, like, stuck in this, like, kind of, like, trance from, like, the riffing and whatnot on here, 
because it's just so fucking just sick and well done, hypnotic, and just as primitive and raw as black metal gets. And that's what Black Solis does so well, and I never want them to change up that formula. And on Mysteries, I just love the sound of it. Like, it's just otherworldly fucking black metal. And stuff like this, like, it's awesome when you come by it. Like, when I first found out about this band, I, I kind of slept on it. And then when I picked up a copy from Banished, uh, of Banished from Time, I felt like a fucking idiot. I was like, why did you sleep on this band? This is so good. Like, and then I started working my way back down the catalog, and here I am now with Mysteries, and I'm back in love with this. This is so fucking good. Every single song on here is amazing, and I'm pretty sure I, Black Silice just does six tracks a record, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure, though. Uh, I'm just assuming, but I love this fucking album, and... It has me in its fucking grasp completely, and I love it. But you have to become, in the morbid trance, the truth, ceremonial energy, which is probably the standout track on here for me. And then you have a prayer from beyond, from the long forgotten past. Just every track on here, the way it flows, it's, it's fucking great. And it has some of the best black metal photography I've seen in a very long time. Pretty much since Banished from Time. This is to the best. And it's just working my way backwards. So this existed before that. Obviously. But. I can't get over how good Mysteries is. Like. I, I, I thought fucking. You know. Banished from Time was like gnarly sounding. This. Wow way way more stripped down and primitive and look how awesome that fucking photo is like I'm, I'm loving these like I can't wait to get the other two albums like but this other quote that's in his other release as well is something that actually I've been holding kind of close to me over the past like couple months and it's Nothing is random, everything has a purpose, everything has a meaning. It's just, you know, I don't know. It, it's something that I can connect to, and that's always good. And especially in something with music, and you can connect yourself with the music as well. It's fucking sick. And Mysteries was recorded at the Black Chamber during the 10th full moon of MXIV, which I'm pretty sure is 2015. I feel like an idiot because I forget my Roman numerals. But, uh, yeah, some awesome black metal photography. It's cold as shit. To quote Fenris. But this is an amazing, amazing, amazing release. Seriously. The mysteries are not to be revealed. Mysteries is dedicated to the Portuguese black magic. To those who damn their soul summoning the dead. To fulfill their will of chaos and evil. Sounds like I'm reading from the script of the gate. It's awesome. Like, I love it. Like, to me, this is like fucking so sick and just the way it's put together like just cold as fuck and especially like with it being like 20 some fucking degrees outside and terrible and you know right now on a personal level I'm going through some kind of shitty stuff obviously if you know what's going on but this is something that I feel is like something I can turn to when I want to shut my brain off, like to quote full of hell, numb, numb your mind. Like not saying this is boring at all, I think it's fucking awesome and very very captivating, but 
it's something that also, like I said, is very, very hypnotic and just, I, I love the sound that's on here because if I wanted to make a primitive black metal project, this is what I would want to go for. Like, I, I can't think of a band right now that's doing that sound as good as Black Solis. Like, this is fucking sick. Like, I think uh, Candlebarum, I think that's how you say their name. I forget. I'm sorry. But, uh,. I think they're they're probably the closest, maybe, but like this is something to me that's very very special, and just my favorite track on here is Ceremonial Energy. But then like from the long forgotten past is right next to it. Every track on here is great. In the morbid trance, the truth, but the way things start off with to become, it just really really kind of grabs you and just brings you down to its level and if you let it you know you can really really enjoy it and find things you know with each different listen and that's something that's awesome in any type of record something that has replay value and you know not something that you just listen to once and you're like ah that was okay like that sucks i hate when i buy something and it's like mediocre like I'd rather it suck than just be mediocre, but that's just me. But here on Mysteries, Black Solis sound amazing. They fucking look amazing, which doesn't have anything to do with the sound, obviously. But if you want an awesome fucking black metal, like, just, you know, album setup, this is pretty much, you know, as awesome as it gets, right next to Banished from Time, which has the lyrics printed, so I guess maybe the mysteries were revealed a little bit, but that's such an amazing record, but this is something awesome, and also, uh, check up on YouTube on actual necromancy, it's pretty, pretty gnarly stuff, like, I don't know, but... This is something special to me, and something I'll remember forever, because it came into my life during this time period, like, and really, really kind of helped me, and you might say, how can, you know, something like this, you know, kind of help you, and it's because, like I said, it just, you have to actually pay attention, and fucking, it's sick. Like, if you have ADD, you know, Stick to ACDC or something. Like, this is fucking great. If you're in the black metal, wow. Like, it doesn't get much better than this. Like, you know, outside of Banished from Time, like, Mysteries is so fucking good. This is some of the best black metal I've heard in a very, very long time. And I've been very, you know, playing catch up for a couple years now, but. It's awesome finding all these projects that I slept on because I was fucking up. But it's it's great because, you know, even though I'm late to the party, I still get to enjoy it. And that's always awesome, you know? There's always an after party. And if Mysteries is the after party, it's one of the fucking most stripped down, primitive, raw sounding, awesome, atmospheric black metal records ever recorded it's just fucking special in that way it just has this fucking vibe around it and this aura like it's amazing and you just have to hear it to actually understand what i mean and black Solis mysteries i'm gonna give this a fucking perfect 10 out of 10 i just it, it's one of those things that hit me right where it needed to at the perfect time and this is a uh, number 70 out of 300 which i'm guessing is the red color but uh yeah this is some amazing portuguese black metal one man project awesome awesome stuff love the transylvanian hunger worship on the cover and we've been blasting dead congregation sombre doom ep wow so fucking heavy i love greek death metal it's brutal but i hope you guys had a good safe holiday and uh 
I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Hails. Hey.